gonna hate this book. Like, let's read it. Let's see, let's see what happens. Hey, hi, hello. How are you? I'm Pia. As you might have guessed from the title of this video, I'm going to be reading fourth wing in this vlog. I am so excited. I am not a big fantasy reader. I read about um, 10 fantasy books a year and now out of like 200 books, it's not that many in the grand scheme of things. So I am a little bit of a like, not even a beginner in fantasy. It's just not really my genre. It's not my favorite thing to read. You will see like if you follow my Goodreads or like if you've been a long time subscriber, you know that I do enjoy fantasy. It's just not really what I gravitate towards. Not usually that impressed by it. But I'm gonna be reading Fourth Wing because it is just like the book right now. <laughs> I feel like like the Atlas Six was like the book, you know, in the fall and Fourth Wing just is that. Now, I've seen this book literally everywhere. I don't know, like they just had like the best marketing campaign, like the best marketing team, whoever like marketed this book and got it everywhere, like props to you because you did it. Like it is sold out everywhere. I'm reading my copy um, on my iPad and the audiobook because there are no more physical copies. Like, no, 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 <laughs> especially not first editions. Oh my God, have you seen the rates that they are going? They're like $300 for a book. Anyway, crazy. But I'm gonna read Fourth Wing. This is a new adult fantasy. Um, about dragons and it's got a love triangle it's got chronic illness representation I don't know because I haven't read it yet so I haven't finished a fantasy book in a while I know this is the first book in a series I think I read somewhere that it's gonna be five books or at least the author has plotted out five books. I also looked up this author and she's like written almost exclusively like romance books and then just came out with this fantasy. So I am definitely like very hyped for the romance in this book because like she seems like she knows what she's doing. And so far, liking it a lot. So I have actually started this book. I'm about, I'm uh, a little over 20% through the book and this is reading super fast. Like there's something about the writing that is so easy to just like read or listen to. And it's very like, it's no frills. Like, although the, um, the, uh, he must've been four inches over six feet was very funny to me. Like he's six four, like, what do you mean? Yeah. And I really, I like the way that it has like these new like worlds and politics and like this whole universe <laughs> that it's bringing you into but it uses such like contemporary language i really like that it fuses the jargon of fantasy books with just like they say normal curse words you know like that's like something i really like like sometimes i like when they come up with their own like words for stuff but in terms of like getting acclimated into a book really fast and like feeling like you know what's going on from the get-go in a fantasy book is really hard for me and because it has these elements that are like very recognizable of like you know, a mostly contemporary reader. I really like it. So I really like, I'm getting, I know a lot of people have been comparing it to like Akatar and we all know I hated Akatar, but I'm getting like divergent vibes from it. Like I think like anything that was like your first like dystopian or fantasy book um, that you fell in love with or it's just entertainment value, I think what you might compare this book to because it is so cute like even like the hunger games like <laughs> it's not dystopian at all the like love triangle is very similar to the hunger games and the just like the war politics i just am really liking it <laughs> like it's new adult but it reads just so easily like there's definitely like there's you know curse words and lots of talk about like sex and stuff but it's so easy to read. Like it's crazy. Like I picked this up last night cause I was like, let me just get a head start on the video, start getting into it. And I was really expecting like something chunky and like a little bit hard to get into because that's what fantasy is for me like 90% of the time. So I'm very pleasantly surprised so far. I'm kind of having a blast and I'm just really liking it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm only 20% in so. We shall see. I like both of the love interests, but I know like, is his name Xander? Zayden? Zayden. Stupid name. Zayden with an X. <laughs> he is definitely going to be the main love interest for our main character. But I always like the, the like cute little like childhood best friend to lovers. I like that one. So I'm kind of rooting for that, but I definitely see the way that the author is like steering us away from that. So it's fun. I like it.
I just got off sprints with you guys. So I am like 75% into this book and I genuinely am like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm gonna try to explain what it is about this book that is like just hitting in the best way I can. Okay, let me, let me try. This book is really funny. Like it's actually kind of witty. Like the humor is there, but then I also find the things that aren't maybe jokes funny. <laughs> There's like really great like banter. I'm not even talking about like in the like romance, romance tick what in the romantic plot line like i'm not talking about like that kind of banter i'm just talking about like violet and her like friends her like squad like they're really fun like they're a really fun little cast to follow like when they're in their like the lunch room and they're like you know giving jabs to each other i love it another thing that i find funny about this book is how freaking crazy this girl violet is for xander zader it's stupid. It's a stupid name. He has a stupid name. It starts with an X. It's stupid. <laughs> Zayden. Okay. But her like looking at him, thinking about this man <laughs> is so fucking funny because like she is just obsessed. Like I genuinely like I always find sexual attraction funny just because it like it seems really silly to me <laughs> but but she's just like oh my god his like jawline and his lips like she's just like obsessed with this man and it's so funny it's hilarious another thing i love about this book is it is like i said before it's like reminding me of the dystopians i read as a kid and the dystopian i read as a kid was divergent and now let me draw you a map of the parallels of fourth wing and divergent i think let me get on my soapbox here i really see a lot especially in the romance so you have tris and four you have <laughs> four and six <laughs> in Divergent. I can't take myself seriously. Chris and Four in Divergent, right? Um, and you have Violet and I already forgot his name, Zayden. <laughs> so stupid. And Zayden in Fourth Wing. And their relationship is very similar. Like Zayden's like this higher in command guy, and he's very like macho and like it's kind of like this enemies enemies to lovers, like they shouldn't <sighs> whatever. They have like the same kind of like training that they have diversion with like the mats and like the, the scoring system and like <laughs> the ranks is, it's all the same as divergent and like anytime like i'm supposed to say four anytime zayden like helps her out or whatever it's just giving that scene in divergent when tris volunteers to get knives thrown at her and or throws the knife and he like cuts her ear like true love is happening <laughs> within these pages. I don't know. It's so easy. It is so fast paced. Like it's not fast paced in the, the idea that like every scene is a battle scene or like an action scene, but every scene is like just moving so fast, you know, on to the next and on to the next. And what is this propelling? And what is it about? If there's no like stop to build the world or stop to develop the characters, which I don't think is a problem in other books. I think this book is just really economical with page time which is super surprising because like i just know like there's these guys and they were in this one part of the, the world and they rebel against everyone and they got cut off, cut off! for that and now the like sons and daughters and whatever of those rebels thank you <laughs> are being punished by being in the what is it called the flyers <laughs> the raiders the riders oh my gosh the riders so like i get that but like there's definitely more to learn and i appreciate that it's not trying to like fill me in on everything history wise because i don't care because like that's not what i'm here i like that this book knows why i'm here <laughs> like, it is for a fun good time although this it has the twists it has the turns like obviously this is a non-spoiler vlog but like because of the nature of like this training process for the writers like everyone like is dying left right and center and i am just like i was clutching you know my pearls when <laughs> someone like you know dropped out of the sky and i was like <laughs> it's crazy you can see it on the live i don't think i'm particularly attached to these characters i don't think i'm like like i'm not gonna get a t-shirt with fourth wing on it maybe i, I don't know <laughs> and i don't think it's like it's not particularly poetic but i think it's good yeah <laughs> i think it's good i think it's doing its job it no like it knows its place as a book 
I don't think it's trying to do too much or like say too much. It's not really like commenting on society. I feel like that would be really strange if it tried to do that. Also, freaking Dane. Dane is so gale coded and is like crazy. <laughs> he is so annoying. Those are my thoughts currently. What else was I gonna say? I think that's about it. This book is divergent. So I have finished fourth wing. I just love it. Like, okay, let me tell you about the things that I kicked my trash. Can. Let me tell you about the couple of things that I don't think worked with me. One, the sex scenes. Didn't need them. Didn't need them. They were long. They were long. They are some people's thing. They're not my thing. I thought they were gonna be fade to black and the chapter ended and then it continued in the next chapter. And I was like, okay. Anyway. I think everything in this book happened kind of the way I thought it was gonna happen, which by no means like means this was a bad book. I think one of the things that I loved about this book was how predictable it felt and how like, like even like the shocking things, like the plot twists, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, of course this would happen. But it was like so satisfying because like this was a really like engaging story. I guess. Me throwing in compliments when I'm supposed to be talking about the things I didn't like about that. Hold on. The other things I didn't like, I think, honestly, hear me out. Am I a writer myself? Yes, I am. So I am always thinking about like, how would I have written this? And I think, listen, I think this could have been really interesting. And like, there's gonna be another book that next book actually just got like cover revealed, like as I'm filming this video. So I'm really happy about it. I, I need to pre-order it. I need to get a copy of this book, like first and foremost, but there are none. I really felt like it would have been really interesting to have our main character be a scribe instead of a writer. Not that I don't like the writer, not that I don't love the dauntless of it all, but like I feel like the scribes are so, so interesting. And like, that's just such a me thing. Like I love Babel. I love like stories about language and like his, there's a fucking fly in here. <laughs> History and um, storytelling and stuff like that. Like I love stories about storytellers. So that's like a very personal thing that I kind of wish was a thing in this. Like not to say that I don't love like the dragons and the writing and the like kooky, crazy little challenges that they go through. But I feel like it would have also been really fun to like, like have a main scribe character or something like that. I don't know. But to hear that perspective, I think would have been interesting. The last thing I would say, which is not a spoiler if you listen to the audiobook, because you will see that the audiobook has two narrators and you're listening to the book and you're like, that's funny because this is one freaking woman. <laughs> that's a spoiler. Okay, it's like a mild spoiler, but it's not anything to do with the plot. <laughs> it's just that there's one chapter, there's a single chapter in this book that is from Zayden's perspective and I was not vibing with it. This is not a perspective I care about. Throughout this book, I don't personally care about these two main characters. I don't really, <laughs> like I really don't have anything, they don't have anything going for them for me. I am mostly here for A, Liam, my favorite character, by far, by miles, my favorite character, and the dragons. Those are who I'm here for, gonna be honest. I love a sassy dragon. I love, the dragon personalities. I love the dragon back talk. I love the sass. I love the snark. I love it so much, like coming from a dragon. Like you're kidding. But I don't care about like this romance or like these two characters particularly. Like they're not very interesting to me. Having like Zayden's perspective in the last chapter, I was like rolling my eyes. I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> like dude is so dramatic. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, like, it is life or death, but, like, get a grip, you know? This book was, like, crazy for me. Like, I genuinely had, like, a, like, I was like, a transcendence experience. <laughs> but, like, while reading this book, I didn't, like, reignite my love for reading. Like, I don't know. Reading this book felt like I was in middle school reading Divergent and tearing through the first book and then, like, getting the second book and tearing through that and reading it every chance I got and just like it felt like that and I haven't had like a reading experience like that since you know like seventh grade so like I give this book a lot of credit. I think it genuinely is very very successful in what it's trying to do. I don't think it's like trying to say too much. I don't think it's trying to be a book that is for everyone or be a book that 
is inscribing itself into the literary canon. I don't think it's trying to do so many things. It exactly knows like its place in the world of like new adult fantasy. It knows its genre, it knows the conventions, it knows everything really well. And that's why I can execute these perfect like this perfect story structure that has these highs and lows and dips and that keep you engaged and that also surprise you in different ways. If I can say one thing about this, it's like a very successful book. Like I think that did everything it set out to do and that is very admirable. Like I think like if a book is successful and doing what it's trying to do and I am, you know, a reader that enjoys that, then it's perfect, you know? I really commend this book. <laughs> I think it was a really, really well written book. Not well written in the fact that it's like every sentence was like <laughs> a work of art or anything, but like it was fast paced, you know, like it was paced really fast and well and whatever well means to you in pacing, but, and it was like economical with the, the time on the page. And that was like one thing I really appreciated. I threw this video idea into my like soup pot of uh, video ideas that I have and I wasn't, planning on it for very long. I kind of decided to do this less than a week before I did it because <laughs> I've just seen so many people read this book and I was like, I'm probably gonna hate this book. Like, let's read it. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what happens. And like, cause I always hate things that people like. And like for once in my life, I am on on the right side of the bandwagon and I, I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of love it here. I love being like other girls, but yeah, I really love this book. I gave it five stars. I think it was successful and yeah, the end, Every time, like every time it did something, I was like, snaps, like snaps, you did that. I think it's a good fantasy. I think it's a really good time. It wasn't bad <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's my review of Fourth Wing as a non-fantasy reader. I would say, as speaking for the non-fantasy readers of the bunch, if you have enjoyed fantasy in the past and you just don't read it a lot, I think you should try this one out because of the things that work, because of the fast paced nature of it, because of the easy to follow storyline, but has enough like twists and turns to keep you engaged. I think it has the makings to be something that like people who are not super well versed in fantasy or like really avid fantasy readers would really enjoy speaking as one of them. I think that if you read a lot of fantasy, it might not be that exciting. <laughs> um, it might not really like hit, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak to that, but I would, I would just say like, because it, it does like feel very like, like other girls. <laughs> because it did feel like predictable in ways that I personally wasn't bothered by, but more like fantasy lovers might not enjoy. So I'm not sure how big fantasy readers would feel about this book. So you have to check out a more fantasy reader type of booktuber for a review on it. But yeah, I think non-fantasy readers, I think you should check it out. If you like fantasy, but you don't read a lot of it, I think it's definitely a fun one. It's It was really, really fun. It was a wild ride and I really enjoyed it. I'd recommend the audiobook and the physical book as well. Mostly the pairing of it because there are like lots of internal dialogue and internal dialogue is what I mean. <laughs> Make sure you understand like the character voices and like who's speaking at what times and whatever and like what is internal and what is external. You'll understand what I mean when you read the book. <laughs> but having both is really helpful and is my personal uh, preferred way to read anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna go try to find a copy of this book. Wish me luck. If you want to send me one, my <laughs> Amazon wishlist is always down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!